Hello friends and welcome to your next virtual Hegarty lesson with Key Elementary School's Miss Jarrell. Some of you might know this from your classroom as Blue Book time. This is a time when we will work on phonemic awareness, which means that we will be working with only sounds and no words. Some parts of this video will use screen sharing and then other parts of this video you will see my face so you can mirror my special hand motions. For those of you who don't know me, I am Key's reading specialist and I work with students across all the grade levels. All right, let's get started. For our first activity today, we're going to be working on some rhyming words. For this week's rhyming activity, I'm going to say a word and then I'd like you to tell me something from the screen that rhymes with that word. After that, I'll ask you to think of a word that's not on the screen that also rhymes with the word I said. Today's word is hen. Can you tell me a word on the screen that rhymes with hen? Great work. If you said den or ten, both of those words rhyme with hen. You're right. Can you think of another word not on the screen that rhymes with hen? Fantastic. The word that I thought of that also rhymes with hen is pen. Let's move on to our next activity. For our next activity, we'll be working with the first sound of words. I will ask you to repeat a word. Then I want you to say what sound that word starts with. Let's do an example. I would say eating. Then you would say eating e because eating starts with the sound e. Ready for your next one? I say it, you say it. Age. That's right. Age a. I say it, you say it. Open. Nice job. Open. Oh. I say it, you say it. Ice. Wonderful. Ice. I. I say it, you say it. Unite. Great work. Unite you. Here's our last one. I say it, you say it. Eat. Great work. Eat e. Let's move on to the next part of our lesson. In the next part of our lesson, we'll be putting sounds together. For this activity, we'll need to use our hands as choppers. Let me show you what I mean. You're going to put your hands up like choppers like this. Go ahead and get those choppers up. Nice job. I will say some sounds while chopping my hands. Then I'd like you to repeat those sounds and blend them together. Let's do an example. I would say t a k. You would say t a k take. Ready to do some more? I say it, you say it. M a d. M a d made. D ook D ook Duke O O go P I P P 
I pipe. L a k. L a k. Lake. Sight. 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 Three more. P a v. P a v. Pave. Two more. V a s. Vase, vase. Last one. R o d. R o d. Road. Great work, kindergartners. Let's move on to our next activity. Next, we're going to be thinking about the middle sound of words. For this part, we'll need to move our hands like a roller coaster. Our roller coaster is going to go like this. I'll say a word on my roller coaster, then you repeat and tell me the middle sound. Let's do an example. I would say, bake. You would say, bake a. Let's do some more. I say it, you say it. Rake. Rake. A. Nice job. On this one, I'm not going to say it the second time. Dove. Oh. Great work. Need. E. Cube. U. Three more. So. Oh, rhyme. I, last one, tape. A, great work, kindergartners. Let's move on. In the next part of our lesson, we'll be breaking up words into sounds, and we'll need to use those choppers again. Hold those choppers up. Great job. This time, I'm going to say a word, then you chop the word up into its sounds. Let's do an example. I say cape, you say cape, k, a, p. Let's do some more. I say it, you say it. Tube. Nice job. T -u -b. I say it, you say it. Wave. Great work. W -a -v. I say it, you say it. Kite. I -t. deep d e -p. I say it, you say it. Rude R -u -d. hope. O, P, fine. F, I, 
Mm. Cane. K. A. Mm. Two more. Luke. Wool. Ook. Last one. Coal. O, O. All right, let's move on to our next activity in our lesson today. Next, we're going to add sounds onto a word part. You're going to hold your hands out like this. I'm going to say a word part and then you repeat it. Then I'll tell you to add a sound and I want you to say the word it makes. Let's do an example. I say ein, you say ein. I'll say add m to ein. What's the word? You would say mine because m and ein make the word mine. Great. Let's do some more. I say it, you say it. Yume. Add f to yume. What's the word? Fume. Nice work. I say it, you say it. O's. Add n to o's. What word is it? Nose. I say it, you say it. Ain. Add p to ain. What word is it? Pain. I say it, you say it. Oon. Add t to oon. What word is it? Tune. I say it, you say it. Ice. Add er to ice. What word is it? Rice. Great work, kindergartners. We have two more parts of our lesson to go. In this next part, we'll be taking sounds off of words. I'd like you to hold both of your hands out like this again. I'll say a word, then you say the word. Then I'll ask you to take off a sound and tell me what we have left. Let's do an example. I say it, you say it. Coat. What's coat without k? You would say oat because that's what's left when I take k off of coat. We have oat left over. Let's do some more. I say it, you say it. Wake. What's wake without w? Ache. Great work. I say it, you say it. Room. What's room without er? Oom. I say it, you say it. Cove. What's cove without k? Ove. I say it, you say it. Bike. What's bike without b? Ike. Last one. I say it, you say it. Moon. What's moon without m? Mm. Oon. Nice work. For our last activity today, we'll be switching sounds in words. I'd like you to hold your hands up in fists like this. I'm going to say a word, then you say the word. Then I'll ask you to change a sound 
and tell me what word it makes. Let's do an example. I'll, I say it, you say it. Line. I'll say change all to m, mm, and the word is, you would say mine, because if I take all off of line and put m, mm, it makes the word mine. Ready? Let's do some more. I say it, you say it. Dime. Change d to all. And the word is lime. I say it, you say it. Lime. Change all to m. Mm. And the word is mime. I say it, you say it. Mime. Change m mm to t. And the word is time. I say it, you say it. Time. Change t to ch. And the word is chime. I say it, you say it. Chime. Change ch to d. And the word is dime. Great work. That's the word we started with. That's all for today, kindergarten friends. Thank you for showing up to play with sounds with me. If you have any questions or if you'd like to share a picture or video of you, of you practicing sounds or even just want to say hi, feel free to send them to lauren.gerald at k12.dc.gov. See you next time.